Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like. Now back to the news. Nick Carter is being sued for sexual assault and battery by former Dream singer Melissa Schumann. Schumann alleged in court documents obtained Tuesday by TMZ that in 2003 when she was 18 and he was 22, the Backstreet Boys member performed oral sex on her against her will before forcing her to reciprocate. Carter, now 43, then allegedly proceeded to take her virginity, she claimed, even though she told him she was saving herself for marriage. Schumann, now 38, first accused the pop star of raping her at his home in November 2017, saying the Harvey Weinstein allegations were a big trigger for her. The following February, she filed a report with the Santa Monica Police Department, hoping Carter would face criminal charges. But the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office declined to prosecute because the statute of limitations had expired. However, a California law that went into effect earlier this year revived sexual assault claims and extended the statute of limitations for reporting them. Not only has Carter repeatedly denied Schumann's allegations of non-consensual sexual contact, but in February, he also filed a countersuit against her and Shannon Ruth, who in December 2022, sued him for allegedly raping her on a tour bus in 2001, when she was 17. In his countersuit for defamation and extortion, the boy band Kroner claimed the two women were involved in a conspiracy against him. After Schumann took her claims to court, Carter's attorney, Leanne K. Wakayama, told Page Six in a statement, Melissa Schumann has been peddling this tale for many years, but her allegation was false when she first made it back in 2017, and it still is. The lawyer continued, a judge in Nevada recently ruled, after reviewing the extensive evidence we laid out, that there are strong grounds for Nick Carter to proceed with his lawsuit against Ms. Schumann, for plotting to damage, defame and extort Nick, his associates, his friends and his family. In light of our progress in Nevada, this kind of response is at once both predictable and pathetic, the attorney concluded. But this PR stunt won't shake Nick from his determination to hold Ms. Schumann and her co-conspirators to account for the immeasurable pain and suffering their extortionate conduct has caused. Meanwhile, Schumann told the Post in a statement, I faced extraordinary backlash for standing up for myself. I am not the first, however my intention is that I am the last. She added, it's time that powerful figures in the music industry get the message that they can no longer afford to enable and protect sexual predators. I'm fighting to make the music industry a safer place to work and perform.